So we're in the middle of a typhoon right now. In the guest house of Miyakojima. And this is my second day here. I arrived yesterday and um, yeah, I got here at about one o'clock and had a meal and just hung out here. I have yet to work because um, the typhoon started up kind of like last night. It's just been windy as heck all day and now it's getting like really bad. Like I just showed you, it's starting to get real damp. The wind's continuing getting stronger. So now we're just hanging out in here. This is the man from down under, Giles. It's actually really boring. It's pretty boring there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, I hope to go someday. But we're just hanging out, drinking some Orion Special X, which you can only find in Miyako at 6% alcohol. Well, our power might be going soon. And we're here joined by our friends from Hong Kong, Hi. Tracy, Ada, and Kate. Sexy cats. Yeah, <laughs> sexy cats. And uh, that's their room in there. This is mine and Giles' room. Uh, I don't know if the power is working in here. I just tried flipping some switches, but yeah, that's my bed. Um, our living room, like I just showed you, and then our kitchen. And um, there's still, I don't really know what's going on here with meals. Uh, Giles and I and the girls have just been kind of shopping. Here's the bathroom. And uh, getting whatever food we feel like eating. Should I try opening the window? Yeah, maybe we should see what that looks like. Oh, uh, that's a thrashing blast there. Oh, the power just I think the wind's just started to come from this way, so it's not blowing straight in. Oh, nice. Maybe that tree's blocking it. But yeah, um, good tropical fruits here. Some dragon fruit, which I had for the first time yesterday. And what else do we have that is special here? Star fruit. That one's kind of unripe, but it's still really good. And, uh, oh, aloe. Right over here, some fresh aloe vera. Um, oh, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe putting a bike underneath. <laughs> underneath that awning there. I know. But yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more of this place. Not much to do right now, so I thought it'd be a good time to document what is happening. Um, seems like a really cool place, and I'm so happy that I get to spend my time with all these great English-speaking people, because it makes for such a much more rich experience. In the midst of this typhoon, with no power, we're enjoying a nice candlelit dinner. Chef Giles, compliments of Chef Giles. All right, so just had my first day of work here. Um, went really well. Luckily, it was kind of cloudy. It's um, starting to get real hot again. It was kind of subdued because the last few days it's been cloudy especially with the typhoon, so it's been a little cooler. But, um, yeah, the sun <clears throat> makes things hot. Luckily, though, the work here, um, 
we, we get done with work early in the day. We start at 6 a.m. each day and we're done at noon for lunch. Um, I just wanted to show you a quick video of what we're doing here. Um, this is just the small plot of land that um, Matsumoto-san has near his home. So we transported or transplanted some of these little papaya trees. And this is just across the street from his home. I wanted to hurry here because they're, we're, we're all going to the beach today. It's the girls from Hong Kong over there's last day here. And uh, we just had lunch and now he's gonna take us to this nice spot at a beach. Um, I'll explain more later though about the work that we're doing and why we're doing the things that we are. Here's a couple of banana trees. Uh, the typhoon totally like ravaged this place. And most of what we did today was taking up some of the banana trees. <clears throat> um, like over there, you can see here this large pile. Those are all banana trees right there. And all of these ones were the ones that uh, can be replanted because the roots were still intact. And uh, like this one, for example, we were going to have to put in another kind of compost pile because it's not going to make it. It cracked off of the roots right there. Um, there's some more that were saved. And then over there, that's like a ton of dead banana tree matter that we just are going to use this compost because it was all died and they won't grow back. This is um, dragon fruit in here. Um, I'll tell you more about this later though. This farm is very new so we he started this in May of 2012 so um, nothing's really being harvested yet but uh, yeah and this is just one location he's also got a bunch of sugarcane, papaya, and banana trees at uh, other locations. So yeah, I'll explain more about this place later. See ya.